Hey there, do-it-yourself technician. In today's episode, I want to talk about thinking like a fixer. Thinking like someone who is a do-it-yourself technician, with a laptop as an example. Yeah, I want to talk about learning and about thinking. Not just about being told what to do, but thinking about a problem and what might be done to solve it. I don't want to go through every model of computer ever created and how to fix every problem that might turn up on that computer. There's just way too many and there's just too many possibilities and too many items. I could never cover it, even in a dozen lifetimes. And by then there'd be more stuff out and I'd be behind again. So I want to teach you to think and problem solve. See I believe if you can hold a pen, you can probably hold a screwdriver. If you can hold a screwdriver and think, you can probably solve a decent chunk of the problems with your computer yourself. For example, take this laptop. The light on the power button is on, and the light on the front is on, but it's not turning on. You press the button and nothing happens. The power cord almost certainly works because it's got the big white ring around it lit up, and when it's not plugged in, the laptop does nothing. So let's have a look inside. When we take the base cover off, the obvious thing is the battery. We can find the battery because it's this giant big black bit here. And then we can follow the cable from it and see where it meets the motherboard. And we look closely and we find there's a little strap across the back as a handle. So we know we can just pull that and it will unplug the plug from the motherboard, thereby disconnecting the battery. So we've tried something. Let's test it and see if it works. At this point, I plug the power cable back in and the lights were off. I press the power button, boom. Machine starts up, Windows boots, happy customer. The other user serviceable part that was really obvious here is the RAM. So just to be sure, I unplugged the RAM and plugged it back in again, just to make sure it was seated properly. There's nothing special here, no magic. I just thought about what could be the problem, opened it up and had a look, saw an obvious possible solution, tested it, and it worked. And you'll be surprised. 50, 60, 80 percent of the time, those simple solutions will just work. Just unplugging the battery from a laptop so many times fixes the problem, whether it be an internal battery or an external battery. So believe in yourself, think about the problem and have a go. You might really surprise yourself. You might already be a do-it-yourself technician. Let me know in the comments below if you've had a success story, just taking something apart to try and have a look at it without knowing what the problem was or what the solution might be. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. You can subscribe to the channel down here to get all of our episodes. You can subscribe to our mailing list up here. Or you can see some episodes you might not have seen before here and here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.